So what's your role within psychological services? One of my roles is to provide uh, services including assessments, educational support, uh, making recommendations for students that are in a family of schools. So is there any sort of special training required to do a job like yours? Psychological services staff are trained professionals who have graduate level training, that is a master's degree or a doctoral degree in an area that is uh, in psychology. Um, to work in a school setting, uh, as we do, uh, requires some extra training in you know, knowledge of child development, both typical and atypical, knowledge of mental health disorders, etc. There are indirect and direct ways that psychological services staff help students you know, with their own mental health, and I guess one would be in increasing their own understanding of their own profile. So how can students and their families access you? The first conversation has to be at the school level. So most of my referrals will come through, you know, the special education teacher at a school, or in the case of high school, it might be administration or guidance counseling, which could be followed by a specific referral um, for an assessment um, or further support. So if a student came in for an assessment with you, what would that look like? It would involve you know, collecting interview uh, information from parents, teachers, others that are involved with the students. It would involve doing some classroom observations. And then at a certain point, as you say, a student would come in to see me. It was usually one-on-one -on -one work in a you know, private and quiet location. And we might do some standardized activities. That means that they, they kind of look the same no matter who the student is. They're done in a particularly prescribed way. Drawing pictures, doing some coloring activities. And uh, in most cases, the children are really sorry when it's over, uh, <laughs> as am I. And they want to know when's the next time that you're coming back to work with me. With older students, uh, we would talk about you know, not only their learning challenges, but their mental health um, status. That might include understanding more about the behaviors that they're engaging in, um, their feelings, the emotions, and sort of the connections between all of those. It may lead to a diagnosis, you know, a mood disorder like depression, um, or an anxiety disorder, like generalized anxiety disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, uh, any of a multitude of appropriate diagnoses. Part of its education, Part of it's helping them move on to the next step to get the direct help. Part of it is, um, you know, learning their own strengths and weaknesses. What's the most rewarding part of your job? For me personally, I think it's what we call a feedback meeting. And the feedback meeting occurs after an assessment or an intervention has, has taken place. And it's where we get together and we talk about the results of the assessment. It's very rewarding to see people's understanding grow and to see their sense of optimism and uh, be inspired to make changes so that, that that child's learning and their life are better. Absolutely, thank you so much.